In our last video, we showed the hours of design that went into this case, and now that it's all put together, we can take a look at the features and show you the assembly steps. Free download for all the parts to build this at the end of the video. This case has mounting points for ATX and mini ITX motherboards. It's anticipated you're not going to need a video card. Processors do come with integrated graphics, or since you have a 3D printer that you used to make this case, just print yourself a graphics card holder. If you rely on Ultimaker Cura to slice your prints, you can set your infill overlap percentage higher to get the infill pattern to make a nice imprint on the outer walls of the three case sections. It really only shows up near the top edge of the screen here, and something else that doesn't really show up is the front edge, because it was printed on glass, is particularly shiny and smooth. A couple more noteworthy features. The power supply is acting as a counterweight against the weight of the motherboard, CPU, and especially the CPU cooler. This whole case in total only used about half a spool of material, unlike some other cases that used over 5 kilograms. I wanted this to be a case for a NAS, meaning lots of hard drives with active cooling, and I wanted it to not take up the same amount of space as a large household appliance. I'd say I've met most of my design goals, but it's up to you whether you want to download and print it for yourself. For those who say, darn, I needed 10 hard drives, well, good for you because you can print two stacks of three side by side, giving you 18 drives of storage capacity for just the cost of a $15 roll of Micro Center PLA and $5 for a pack of nuts and bolts. The only case cheaper than this is the one I built out of the motherboard box about a year ago. As for assembly, start by stacking all three units together. There are four screw holes between the tops and bottoms to secure them together. We're going to put the motherboard and power supply on opposite sides, fans in the front, and horses in the back. Sorry, hard drives in the back. But the order is quite important if you want this to be an easy. Start with the motherboard, using washers to space the motherboard off the edges of the case. If you want room to run cables behind the motherboard, just print off a second or third set of washers to give you room. Next up is the power supply. Fan side out, power plug to the front. Modular power supplies will leave much less cable clutter, because there's not much place to put cables in a case like this. And then we install the fans in the front. I recommend using the bolt heads on the inside of the case, with the nuts on the outside of the fans. And before we can shove all the hard drives in, we have to attach these to the sides. Print this with a material that has a bit of flex to it to help cut down on vibration, and use rubber washers if you have them, or just print some yourself using flexible 3D material such as nylon. With the hard drives in place, the only thing left is wiring, and you've got yourself the cheapest 9-drive PC case on the market, which you can download along with any other of my case designs at 3dpc.xyz. Rolls right off the tongue. Also, you might want to get subscribed because the next case has been nearly a year in the making, and I'll be uploading its progress as it finishes up over the next three to four weeks. And for those who can't wait to see another one of my videos, here you go. Hope you enjoy!